Senators demand answers from IRS officials but get few new answers. First read. MSN. Hotmail. More. Autos. My MSN. Video. Careers and jobs. Personals. Weather. Bellish. Quotes. White pages. Games. Real estate. Wonderall. Horoscopes. Shopping. Yellow pages. Local edition. Traffic. Feedback. Maps and directions. Travel. Full MSN index. Ding. News.com. Today. Nightly news. Rock Center. Meet the press. Dateline. MSNBC. Breaking news. Newsvine. Home. U.S. World. Politics. Business. Sports. Entertainment. Health. Tech. Science. Travel. Local. Weather. Advertise vertical bracket ad choices. Recommended. Video. First read minute. Disaster relief politics lurks in tragedy's shadow. Recommended. Obama's tough love. Inspiration for black community. Recommended. The GOP's focus deficit. Recommended. Senators demand answers from IRS officials but get few new answers. Header point top underscore header left curly bracket background image. Earl HTTP slash slash CDN point lib point newsvine point com slash chrome slash first read slash images slash header point JPG equals 9139 right curly bracket footer point links left curly bracket background image. Earl HTTP slash slash CDN point lib point newsvine point com slash chrome slash first read slash images slash footer point jpg right curly bracket the first place for news and analysis from the npc news political unit follow us on twitter about this blog archives email updates follow on twitter subscribe to rss 590 comments print updated two hours ago Senators demand answers from IRS officials but get few new answers. By Michael O'Brien, political reporter, NPC News. Follow at MPOINPC. U.S. Senators of both parties directed outrage at top IRS officials over not being informed earlier as to the tax agency's work to target conservatives and demanded answers Tuesday as to why action was not taken more quickly to halt the abuses. Senators voiced their dismay at the IRS leadership's efforts to respond to indications that officials in the agency's Cincinnati office had singled out conservative anti-party advocacy that had applied for tax-exempt status. Senate Finance Committee Chairman Max Baucus, Demont demanded to know why wasn't more firm action taken by people, either the commissioner himself or by people at the top? It's outrageous. Any person can figure out this is an acceptable conduct. Members of the U.S. Senate ask Acting IRS Commissioner Stephen Miller about his knowledge of the department's alleged targeting of political groups. Advertise vertical bracket ad choices. Utah Senator. Warren Hatch, the ranking Republican, said there was no doubt the episode constitutes a scandal, saying it undermines Americans' trust that their government will enforce the law without regard for political beliefs or party affiliation. A former IRS commissioner who presided over most of the time in which the IRS targeted conservatives, Douglas Shulman, told members of the committee that he was not aware of the full facts surrounding the abuses until earlier this month. And Stephen Miller, the acting IRS commissioner who resigned from that position last week, took responsibility for the controversial manner in which the IRS sought to first publicize the agency's abuses ahead of the release of an Inspector General report in the matter. Miller said he was responsible for a plot to plan a question for an IRS official, Lois Lerner, at an American Bar Association panel discussion to allow her to publicly reveal the IRS targeting. Obviously, the entire thing was an incredibly bad idea, said Miller about the strategy, explaining that the IRS had failed to follow through with its plan 